What are we going to do? Paulus, you get the explosives. No! Don't, Willem! Martha, you look... Then he won't hurt any of us anymore. Don't you want me to help, Willem? Please? I always help. Get him out of here. You must forget about this, Richard. Why? You wanted him dead too. We all wanted him dead. You must not say a word. None of us must say a word. Stay where you are. Colonel! Colonel Miller! Did you find his money in his watch? Be careful with that gun, Lieutenant. Remember, you need us. Get on with it, Campion. They must be at the rendezvous, but... How did this happen? I don't know, sir. Anybody see it? Apparently not, sir. Mm. He must have been killed in action. It does look like that. Yes, that's it. Careless officer, always fatal behind enemy lines. Germans all around us. As you say, sir. Fatal. Well, you'd better get started for the rendezvous. Must be there when the gliders sit down. Be ready in a few minutes, sir. Gun away, Lieutenant, and let's get back ourselves. But one of them must have killed him, sir. You know how they hated him. You can't leave it like this. Sir! Can't I? But, but, sir... No buts, no ifs, no nothing, unless I say so. Understand, Lieutenant? No, sir. Then I'll make myself clearer. My orders are that you will forget the whole incident, and that you will give your undivided attention to the job in hand. The matter is now closed and will not be mentioned again. Now, do you understand? Yes, sir. Very clearly. I'm to forget the whole thing. <laughs> Who's that message to, Captain? Oh, it's a uh, routine message, sir. Nonsense. Routine messages go by radio, you know that. Those carriers are for top secret only. Yes, sir. What was in that message? Answer me. We're behind enemy lines and you're sending unauthorized messages. You could be shot for less. Tell me what you sent! Sir, a fellow officer has been murdered. I've reported his death because it's my duty. Your duty was to obey orders. Give me your gun. Sir. That's an order. Or are you disobeying that one too? Clean. Loaded. Quite lethal. Now, I wonder what I'm going to do with you.
No, really, Matt. I think Jack does more for the room there. Yeah, I know, but there's more light here, Wendy. I'm afraid I agree with Mike, Wendy. Why don't we just leave it there? Good morning, Captain. Welcome to the Cathedral City of Reims. Thank you. Sergeant McCaskey and I decided to go French Provincial. French Provincial, eh? Well, you know, <clears throat> it's not too bad. Let's see if it's comfy. Comfy. All those Empire and Louis XIV peace will break up the monotony. A little French provincial goes a long way, I always say. This happens to be Major Whitaker's office, Captain. Oh, you'll never know what he missed. Say, Mac, uh, you don't suppose you could scare up a small refrigerator? Yeah, well, the uh, 476th Hospital Administration Command has an extra ice chest. And a few pictures, I see. I think a portrait of Blackstone would be more appropriate. Shall we have these suitably framed? Attention! Uh, Sergeant, get on with what you were doing, will you? Uh, yes, sir. Good morning, Major. Good morning, Wendy. Well, you chaps take good care of yourselves. French provincial. <laughs> Uh, Captain Young, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Ivy from Shape. Captain David Young. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Colonel Ivy has a problem, David. Had a problem. It's yours now, Major. An American officer's been killed, murdered, possibly, behind the enemy lines in Holland. Behind the enemy lines? Yes, he was attached to a special operations group headed by uh, Colonel Gordon Miller. This Colonel Miller doesn't want a court-martial behind the enemy lines. Uh, no. No, not quite. The first reports came from one of Miller's officers, a Lieutenant Campion. One of our carrier pigeons... Carrier pigeons? Yes, pigeons, old boy. Still a great messenger service. Anyway, this pigeon brought us the only news we have. We tried contacting Colonel Miller by radio, but he seems to have more urgent things on his mind. So what can we do? I don't know. What can we do? Well, just one thing. Send somebody, somebody in there. In there. Yes. Right. <clears throat> well, I guess I was just born lucky. You better know something about Colonel Miller. He's one of those men who likes to fight his own wars. We hope that when we finally get a peace treaty that he will ratify it. But I can assure you, Captain, you won't like Colonel Miller. Oh, I don't prejudge a man, Colonel. Oh, highly idealistic and very commendable. And therefore he won't like you. I don't uh, suppose there's anybody else free. No. Well, would you rather that I left now or right away? You're right away now, immediately. Yes, just think. A few hours from now, there you'll be. Right behind enemy lines. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the tulips are in season. Oh, uh, Captain, we can't condone Allied officers being, as you fellows say, bumped off. On the other hand, Miller's mission is vital to us, so you better not get in his way, hmm? Tricky position for you, old boy. No, you'll handle it well. Good luck. Thank you very much. Oh, Captain Young, where do you want me? Oh, something? Mac, that is very thoughtful of you. Uh, put it right away on the corner, huh? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Wendy, this office is going to work out very nicely. That's just what Captain Young thought. Oh, he did, did he? Uh -huh. yeah, I think we could use another picture or two for the walls. Blackston? Exactly what I had in mind. Well, Colonel, here we are in the city of Champagne. How about some lunch? Sir. Just keep through the tree, sir, and you can't miss it. How far? Oh, not far, sir. Say a couple of miles. Through the German lines, and you're right there. Anything else? Well, to be perfectly honest, sir, our intelligence say there's a new mine for you right there. And they haven't located it either. Thanks a lot. Our orders are to take you within 850 yards northeast of the German lines, and no further, sir. This is no further, sir. I don't want to hurry you, sir, but we are rather exposed here. If you don't need us anymore. I sure wouldn't want to hold you fellas up.
I like America. America good. I go to America after war. We friends. an American, another American, just that other one. What is your mission here? To meet with Colonel Miller. You never told us anything about it. Well, suppose you take that up with him. You hear about Lieutenant Thompson. Is that right, Captain? Look, are you going to take me to Miller or do I find him myself? He doesn't look like an American officer to me. Henrik, Paulus, off you go. You know why he's here. He's Miller's problem. We have our own. Martin, you take him to Colonel Miller. Thank you. That way, Captain. Ladies first. Not here. Who the blazes are you? Captain Young, Judge Advocate General's Department, reporting as ordered, sir. You must be joking, Captain. Sir? Actually, I don't need a lawyer at the moment. Whose bright idea was it to dump you on us? Not mine, sir. I'm here to investigate the circumstances surrounding the death of a Lieutenant Thompson. Your command of legal jargon will be of great assistance to me. Well, I could have saved you the trip. Lieutenant Thompson was killed. It does happen in war, you know. Yes, but you see, you forgot to explain how it happened, sir. Uh, yes, well, I'm notoriously bad at paperwork. Didn't they tell you that at headquarters? Yes, sir, that's why I'm here, sir. I see. Yes, well, it's not my job to make myself popular with headquarters. I get paid to fight, not for filling in forms. Yes, sir. Did they tell you how vital our mission is here? They did, sir. They uh, told me to interfere with your mission as little as possible, so the sooner you cooperate with me, the sooner you'll be rid of me. All right, then. What do you want? Just to clear up this mysterious debt. Mysterious? What's mysterious about it? Our report claims that Thompson was murdered. <laughs> Nonsense. You really did take Campion's message seriously, didn't you? Of course we did. Yes, poor Campion. He's one of my problems. He really has got himself in rather a mess. Strain proved too much, and being behind enemy lines is rather trying. But doubtless that will be taken into consideration when the time comes. May I see Lieutenant Campion? Oh, I wouldn't advise it. He really isn't well. You mean I can't see him? Oh, of course you can, dear boy. McMurdo, escort uh, Captain Young to the shed. The shed? Oh, yes, I should have explained. He's under arrest. For his own safety. Well, uh, have a nice chat with Captain. Clear the whole thing up. Come back here and we'll have a spot of tea. Young Captain, don't wander around without an escort. My men tend to shoot first and verify targets afterwards. Couldn't very well go around asking a lot of questions with a hole in your head now, could you, Captain? <laughs> Who are you? My name's Young. I'm the reply to the message that you sent. Message? About Lieutenant Thompson being killed. Oh, yes. That, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry about what? Bruce, sorry to have brought you out here on a wild goose chase. I, I had no business sending that message. Is that why you're under arrest? The colonel got mad at me. I can't say I blame him. How did Thompson die? 
I don't know. Did you see the body? No. Oh, well, well, not close to. Then why'd you ask for an investigation? I don't know. I, I, I suppose I, I thought that he'd been waiting. You were uh, pretty much longer, sir. Now, look, just hold on a minute, will you, Corporal? He hasn't answered my question. Well? I don't know what you mean. Oh, come on. It's a simple enough question. I asked you, did you think that Thompson had been murdered? That's oh, ridiculous. I see. At one time you thought he'd been murdered, and now you don't, so we're just uh, wasting each other's time. Is that it? You know, I was quite a student of American history at Cambridge. I'm sorry, I don't follow. That story about George Washington chopping down the cherry tree, that's not really true, is it, sir? What do you mean? Father, I cannot tell a lie. Yes. I always thought that was rather a nice piece of fiction. Didn't you, sir? It's an interesting theory, Campion. I'll have to follow it up. I wish you would. Yeah. They seem to touch you a lot at Cambridge. Now, the body was over there, is that right? That's right. Where was the German? What German? The one who killed him. Oh, we didn't see him. He must have gone before we arrived. What was Thompson doing out here alone, anyway? Ask Colonel Miller. I'm going to, but now I'm asking you. I don't think we should be here anyway. I don't believe the Colonel gave you permission. You and your friends want to see this cleared up, don't you? We do not need a detective. Can you blow up the bridge? Can you mine a road? That is what we need. Don't you care about Thompson being killed? Didn't you like him? I like anyone who fights the Germans. I do not like anyone who asks us questions. Sorry, that's my job. Now, Thompson was working with you. The uniform may have been different, but he was part of your group. You know, Americans like him are risking their necks with you resistance people all over the place. At least they should be entitled to feel safe with... Marta? Marta, where are you? Don't move! You'll kill yourself! What do you mean? You're in a minefield, Captain! There are landmines all around you! Now look, if this is some kind of a joke... Don't move, you fool! There's a mine, four inches to your right foot. You'll have to listen very carefully, Captain. Move! Three small paces to your left. Your left! a little. Try two paces. You can see that these woods are so dangerous, Captain. It's a good thing for you that we came along. Now what? Now move one pace to your left. No, don't. You mean the right, don't you? I think it is left. But I could be wrong. 
What do you think, Captain? Is it left or right? <laughs> <laughs> See you. Now tell me about Thompson. What? What you, do what you want to know? How did he really die? He was knifed. Did you see it? No. But I was there a few moments afterwards. The Dutch were standing around his body. They were going to blow the body to bits. Come on. Look, I'm telling you, it Shh. was murder. And who did it? One of, one of them. Which one? I don't know. What did Miller say? He didn't want to know about it. All right, uh, all right, Campion, suppose I buy your story. Suppose that they really did do it. Why would they want to kill Thompson? What had he done? <laughs> Keep quiet, will you? <laughs> oh, you'll never believe it. Try me. They were afraid of him. That's the funny part. They were afraid of him. Why? Well, he was a jinx. What do you call it, a Jonah? They had to get rid of him. He brought them bad luck. They didn't feel safe while he was around. And that was the reason for killing him, man. Eh? In their eyes, yes. I'm sorry, Campion. That's too much to swallow. <laughs> That's a payoff. Now you don't believe me. After all this, even you don't believe me. <laughs> oh, easy. Philem's not going to hurt you. He's going to make you better. You, uh, all know Captain Young. Uh, you don't trust him, but you know you can all trust me. Well, we have nothing to hide, so let's help him to do his job. Hmm? Understood? Yes. We are to cooperate with our American friend. That's right. That's an order. And orders have to be obeyed. You see, they're very well disciplined. They never give me any problems. They obey people they respect. Well, wrap it up quick, Captain. I wanted to start thinking about that bridge, not your detective story. All yours. Now, look, uh, once Hold I... Stay over your chat. Once I can find out exactly how Lieutenant Thompson was killed, I won't have to bother you anymore. Now, the little one, please. I think I'll start with you, Henrik. Now, you maintain that Thompson was killed in action, right? Yeah. By a German who just no, appeared? No, no, no. What do you mean? I mean he wasn't killed by a German. Then who killed him? I did. Hey, let's give him a good brushing, huh? You admit killing him? Yeah, I killed Lieutenant Thompson. Now, don't disturb us anymore tonight, huh? We've got something important to do. The horse isn't there. And we haven't hidden him here all this time for him to go lame now. Now, wait a minute. He's lying, Captain. How do you know about it? It was not him. It was me. You can add my name too. I killed him. Hey, what about me? You're always leaving me out. I did it. Don't uh, you have anything to say? Yes, it was really me. I killed Lieutenant Thompson. All of you. Apparently. You want to execute us now or after dinner? Huh? <laughs> Bishop. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> You mustn't laugh. You know this, you part of it. <laughs> Never mind. Mm -hmm. I know who the real murderer is. Richard! 
You killed Lieutenant Thompson, didn't you? Leave him alone. I told you I did. You killed him, didn't you? I'm not sure. You leave that horse alone when I'm talking to you. Superba is my horse. Would you like to ride him? Don't you like Superba? He's nice. You tell me or I shoot the horse. I hate you. I'm going to kill you. You're going to die just like the other American, you see? Swine. What are you going to do? You're going to kill me just like you killed Thompson? Huh? I wasn't really sure until now. Now I know one of you did it. The question is, which one? Outside a young, you don't know what makes these people tick. Fights like you and Campion don't fit, and what's worse, you don't understand. These people have been through a lot. They have a right to feel jumpy. They don't fight the war, shuffling papers. I owe them a debt for past services, and I pay my debts. I'll bet them. they've done a lot of dirty jobs for you. There's a lot they want to forget. Liar, like Thompson. Our most expendable item is manpower. People posted to this organization risk being as good as dead. Thompson was no exception. Well, the poor guy, he thought he'd only have to worry about the Germans. He didn't fit. Just tell me, Colonel, are you going to cooperate with me or not? Just at the moment, Captain, I couldn't care less about your Lieutenant Thompson. In a few hours, this unit has got to undertake the biggest assignment in the history of the Dutch underground. While we've been nattering about Lieutenant Thompson, I have planned the destruction of 10,000 enemy troops. Well, it's obvious that the mission's all that matters to you. Well, it is all that matters. It's the reason we're here. A privileged position to be in. Did you say privileged? Privileged, Captain Young. A real test of manhood. You mean you enjoy it? The war is at least honest. It may be cruel, but it's honest. It's a test you can't pass by cheating. <laughs> I'm afraid that I've always looked on it as insanity. Yes, I told you you didn't fit. You'd be far happier commuting to your office in a suburban train. You like... Paying your taxes and mowing the grass. You were just born to fetch the groceries and walk the dog. You're just one of the millions of little men who don't dare. Yes, dare, Captain Young. Dare to give your life in a good fight. The world doesn't belong to the meek. It belongs to the warrior. <laughs> you just can't see what's at stake, can you? I'm not sure that you do, Colonel. Look, my unit here has been assigned this vital task here. And the murderer of one of your own men mustn't interfere. When thousands are involved, I won't let anything interfere. Is that a command decision? No, it's my decision. Well, you're not going on with that. What? I'm going to use your radio to call headquarters. I'm going to get your little group pulled right out of here. <laughs> well, now you really are out of your mind. You think I can't do it? You just watch. This is one operation you can forget. Oh, I see. You've called off the war, have you? You've signed an armistice. You think you're the whole war? You think without you it stops? The whole Allied advance, it falls apart if Colonel Miller isn't there? It's your sneers don't surprise me. You're the kind that's going to lose the peace after we've won the war. Well, I've got news for you, Colonel. There are a few other people fighting this war. You happen to be just one small, tiny part of it. Take a look at your own map. There's Group 8, Special Group 13, Group 5, Group 9. Any one of them can replace you, and any one of them can blow that bridge tonight. No. No, they know that I'm the only one they can depend on. I've never had a failure. Never. At what cost? No, I've never failed. Well, we won't let you spoil your perfect record, because this time you won't even be there. Captain Young, if you had Thompson's killer, there'd be no reason to hold us back. That's right. Very well. You have your killer. And remember, if anything goes wrong, we meet at the usual rendezvous, the hut. Agreed? This will be a tough one, Colonel. Yes. We've always known that. Round up the others. You're taking Richard with you? He's better, isn't he? You want us there by 2300? I want you out of there by 2300. It won't be easy getting back. I know. They're none of them easy. Except the last. This will be the last one for me. 
Hello? <laughs> and goodbye. Come now, Willem. You're the best we've got. I don't want to be good at this. I breed horses. There is life. It's continuous. A horse is a very proud, you know. They can trace their ancestors back further than we can, for centuries. A horse like Superb is part of us. You understand this? Ah. Well, well. Horses tracing their ancestry back through the centuries, huh? <laughs> oh, fancy that. Very well, Willem. You do the job, give our blokes a chance to pull back, and you can go back to your horses. Colonel, nothing must happen to Marta. Uh, you just think about the job. She will be safe. You promise? Of course. Of course. I wouldn't want you worrying about anything else while you're out there. Yes, Captain Young, me. Well, the uh, colonel told me if I came up here... I... You would find the murderer of Lieutenant Thompson. You admit it? You don't have to look any further. I killed him. Yes, and Willem. And Powers and Richard. No, we are all ready to tell the truth. Why? Because the colonel ordered you to? Because it will all come out in the end. to make a statement under oath? Yes. Did the others know about this? No, but they guessed. They wanted to protect me. Then tell me about it. It's not a nice story. Murder is seldom is. Lieutenant Thompson was sent into this group several weeks ago. He was very handsome, very charming. In the circumstances, living as we were, I understand. No, you don't. You can't possibly understand. For the past four years, with the killing and the sabotage and the spying, I had forgotten that I was a woman. Now, suddenly, he was a man, a stranger. And he reminded me that I was young and feminine and desirable. He had all the gifts. You're trying to tell me you were in love with him? I'm trying not to tell you that I was in love with him. It had nothing to do with our kind of war. The things she said. What things? It does not matter now. He never meant a word. It matters if you believed it. Only until that last day in the woods. He laughed at me. We killed Germans for less. You don't believe that a woman will kill for love? You don't believe me? On the contrary, it's the first motive for Thompson's murder that I can believe. Makes much more sense than killing him because he was a jinx. But you're shocked. No. You don't think that we can love. What are we to you? Killers or animals, machines? No, no, you're not, you're not the first girl who's been jilted. And I think that uh, you have your own dignity and self-respect. Well, let me keep that. There's uh, one thing I ought to warn you about. There's a lot at stake. My life? If I take you back to stand trial, things could go badly. They could hang you. No, sir. No, there's been absolutely no word from Captain Young. Well, yes, you can honestly say that he's missing behind enemy lines, sir. Right. I'll let you know the minute I hear anything. Goodbye, sir. Come in. What is it, Wendy? Oh, sorry, sir. Colonel Ivy's here. Colonel Ivy, that's the man I want to see. Send him in. Colonel, good morning. Anything? Any news? Nothing. No, not a peep. Nothing, 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 nothing. Colonel, I've got a request to make. I want to go in there myself and find out what's happened to Captain Young and get him out of there. Request denied. I'm sorry. Why? Because in a few hours' time, the Mars Bridge is being blown sky high. I don't care about the Mars Bridge. I care about Captain Young. Nothing must interfere with that. So in the meantime, we just sit here in the blackout and do nothing, huh? They also serve who only stand and wait.
Well, you were quoting poetry isn't going to save Captain Young's life. I know, and I'm sorry. But Captain Young isn't only a lawyer. He's also a soldier. And all soldiers are expendable in wartime. Why so gloomy, Captain? You've got your killer, haven't you? You ought to be full of the joys of spring. They may even give you a medal on a ribbon made of red tape. You know that Murdoch could face the death penalty. Well, it's a little late to think about that, isn't it? You wouldn't mind if it wasn't martyr, would you? Well, your story makes sense. I guess. <laughs> you are an awkward customer, young... First of all, everybody's conspiring against you. The next moment, you're suspicious even of your own friends. It's the lawyer's training in inborn suspicion. Well, you've got Martha's own confession. That should convince any court, shouldn't it? First, it should convince me. Well, this may help. <clears throat> there you are. Signed statements by William, Paulus, and Henrik. Properly witnessed by Jarvis and myself. That should clinch it. You're doing my job for me, Colonel? Three statements. I, I don't see one from Richard. No, oh, well, you know the boy. Marta's his own sister. And besides, any statement of his would be worthless. He's, uh, well, he doesn't think very clearly. The Nazis had him for a while. You might say they did a good job on him. They uh, didn't mind selling her out, huh? Well, put it down to the fact that they're people of conscience. Anyway, you won't have any further unpleasantness. You've got all you need. Yes, all nicely gift-wrapped. There's just one thing. Yes? I don't believe any of it. Why not? It's all too pat. It all fits so nicely. I mean, you snap your fingers, suddenly I've got a self-confessed killer. You snap them again, and uh, everybody signs incriminating statements for her. You've overdone it. You are a fool, young. You know, I could just about buy Marta's story, but those statements are too much. They never betray her like that. Well, nevertheless, they sign. You overplayed your hand, Colonel. I might have believed you if you hadn't tried so hard. Say, Marta, I'm sorry. I forgot to ask you where it was that you stabbed Thompson. Where was it? Was it, was it in the front, in the chest? Um, in, in the back, I think. You think? Well, where was it you stabbed him? Well, where he killed him. Does it matter? You used your own knife, of course. Yes. Oh, no. Uh, oh, I, I borrowed it, I think. You are quite the girl, aren't you? You stabbed Thompson in the back, you think, with a knife you borrowed, you think. Is something wrong? It's just that I'd like a front seat at your return performance, you know, all about you and Thompson. Oh, please. And please, don't forget the appropriate catches. Well, I was that bad, was I? You believed me for a while. Even you can't stop the mission now. That is the most important thing. Miller has really trained you well. You know you sound like him. Captain, I swear to you, once this is all over, we'll tell you the truth. But you're alone now, Marta. It's your neck that's in the news. We swore we wouldn't talk. We all swore. I don't get you, people. A, a man is dead. One of you killed him. And you're still playing games. You're swearing oaths like Boy Scout. I am not in your courtroom now. I'd be interested in your version of why Thompson was killed. You wouldn't understand. You don't even understand how we live. I understand one thing, you and Willem. You leave Willem out of this. You and Willem are lovers, right? It's my guess that Thompson made a pass at you. Or maybe it was you who started it. You flirted with him, Willem came along, he caught you at it and killed him, huh? Well, if that is your case, Captain, and it is an interesting story, prove it. I will. I'm going to bring all of them back to face it. It's too late. They've gone. Even you can't stop them now. Take you to Willem? What do you think this is, a tourist agency? Is this the hut? Is this where they are? If they're still alive, yes. The odds were against them, you know. Well, I'm going after them. And I'm taking Campion with me. Perfect. An ideal way of getting rid of both of you. I'm not sending you to certain death. You gonna try to stop us? Uh, two babes out in the wood at once is too much. I'm taking you. McMurdo, Jarvis, we leave in five minutes and we're taking two extra passengers. Jarvis, go and fetch Lieutenant Camden. What? 
Now, you've been carrying this fancy rifle around with you. Let's see if you can use it. If you live through this, you may learn something. Like uh, why Thompson was killed? That's not what I had in mind. Ah! Campion! You're going to earn your keep. Make a good job of it. I'll do my best. Yes, it'll look good at the court martial if you live that long. You're just full of encouragement, aren't you? Encouragement. You sit back there and some of the mistakes that we can't hide come across your desk and you think you have the right to judge us. That isn't what gives me the right. <laughs> You're about to learn, Captain, that the sword is mightier than the pen. <laughs> people like you never change, do they? You just can't, can you? And if we did, who'd look after people like you? It's one grenade. How could you let Mara confess? Time. We needed time. Time? How much time do you think we have now? I could teach even you to fight. Thanks, but no thanks. I'd rather be a lawyer. And the court colonel will soon be in session. Huh? My work and this group are all that matter to me. Is that why you betrayed these people? What do you mean betrayed? You heard me. Now listen to me, all of you. You have been used. All of your loyalty, all of your patriotism has been used for the greater glory of Colonel Miller. He has dodged responsibility. I never shirked my duty in my life. Come on, the only reason that you covered up Thompson's murder was because it was inconvenient to you. I don't think of myself. Winning's all that matters to me. Oh, oh no, but that's your trouble. You don't care how you win, what you win, or why you're winning. All that matters is to win, right? And that's what a soldier's paid for. Oh, no, it isn't. Otherwise, he'd be a mercenary fighting for anybody who paid him. A soldier has to ask himself what he's fighting for. How wrong you are. A soldier doesn't ask how or why. He obeys. Sure, sure, he obeys, but don't tell me he never asked himself why. Since you couldn't tell me what this war is all about. And, Colonel, in my book, that makes you a failure. As a soldier and a man. I'm sorry for all of you. You've lied time and again to protect him just because you think he has courage, because you think he can't be replaced. I can't get over the fact you were willing to sacrifice Marta for him. Did any of you stop to think what would happen if none of you came back? Would he have been worth it then? Can't you see? He doesn't care about you. Now, will somebody just please 
tell me the truth for once. Why was Thompson killed? You know it already. We feared him. It was a jinx. That is the truth, Captain. Okay. Then who killed him? Still covering up, huh? Still sticking to your cockeyed values. All right. Tell him who did it. That's an order. We no longer take your orders. I do. Richard, I killed him. You know I killed him. Why don't you tell them I killed him? I'm sorry. It was him, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. We all believe that Thompson brought bad luck to the group. And none of us would have done anything. Richard had a speak and he decided to help. So he killed our bad luck. Did I do something bad? Yes, you did. I'm sorry, Richard. I'm going to have to take you back with me. Not too far about to. No, Martin Willem will take care of him. No. No, I want you, Papa! Have you finished now? You're not entirely off the hook, Colonel. I'll be seeing you in court. Although I don't suppose that means much to you. After all, you did accomplish your mission. Congratulations. Yes, you're right, Captain. I did accomplish it. Didn't I? <laughs> 